Hey everyone, Liam from Solitude here, and in this video, I'm going to be counting down the top 20 Western Australian songs of all time. Okay, so I know this will be a list with a lot of possible disputations and opinions, so please feel free to comment yours, because I am open to hearing them, and I love discussion about West Australian music. Before you cast any judgement though, please be aware that I did make a survey in 2018 on this very topic. The survey gathered around 800 responses and we played the results on the community radio station that I was volunteering at at the time. So I will be using the results of that survey to make this list, but I did feel like some biases came into play to affect the results, so I'll be trying to even it out as much as I can. I also just want to establish some ground rules for who can make this list. I will only be including the purest WA artists, which means they will have to tick the boxes in these categories. The artist or band had to have originated or be formed in WA. They also have to have recorded and played live gigs as an original band in Perth before they did anywhere else. So that means if a band has a prominent member from WA in their group, but they formed over East, they don't count. And also, if they formed in WA and then moved over East to start recording and playing live shows as an original band, they also will not count in this list. So, some notable exclusions that often get lumped into WA band category include In Excess, ACDC, Hoodoo Gurus, UMI, Baby Animals, and Empire of the Sun will not count in this list. Also, I am limiting this list to one song per artist for maximum inclusion. Alright, let's get started with the count. Number 20, Ubu by Methyl Ethel. Methyl Ethel are an art rock band formed in the early 2010s. Their song Ubu from their 2017 album Everything Is Forgotten garnered excitement in the Aussie music scene by getting heavy rotation on Triple J and subsequently reaching number 4 in the station's 2017 yearly countdown. It also reached number 106 on the ARIA charts and achieved platinum status. The song revolves around a bouncy bass line and an infectious chorus hook repeating the line, why'd you have to go and cut your hair? It's enough to satisfy those inclined to dance and those who appreciate the artistry of music. Number 19, Youth by Troy Internet sensation Troy Sivan made the jump from Perth bedroom to the big time in 2016 with this modern pop masterpiece. The song made worldwide acclaim, charting in Australia, Austria, Belgium, Canada, the Czech Republic, Germany, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Portugal, Slovakia, South Korea, Sweden, Switzerland, the UK, and the US. Now that's a lot of places. Troy built a huge following on the web, and Youth was the main hit of his debut album, Blue Neighborhood. In his own words, he said that the song is about the joy in naivety and being lost. Number 18, Don't You Think It's Time by Bob Evans. Lead singer of Jebediah, Kevin Mitchell, adopted the stage name Bob Evans when he released his debut solo album, Suburban Songbook, in 2016. Its lead single, Don't You Think It's Time, would go on to reach number 22 in the ARIA single charts and number 37 in Triple J's Hottest 100 of 2006. It's a beautiful folk song that is often compared to Piano Man by Billy Joel due to the similarities. The song has also been used in movies and advertisements for many years now. Number 17, When You're Lonely by Boys. Boys were a pub rock band in the 80s and made a big splash in the local WA pub scene. Their song, When You're Lonely, reached number one in the local charts, WA charts when they used to do that, and number 52 on the national charts. After the band broke up in the late 80s, some of the members would go on to connect with Susie Dumarchi and eventually form highly successful Aussie rock band, Baby Animals. The lead singer, Troy Newman, moved east and released some solo music over the years. He sadly passed away in 1997 though. Number 16, Awkward by San Cisco. This indie pop jam by Frio band San Cisco has enjoyed a lot of success in the modern times. 
The song about a weird stalking relationship was voted in at number 7 in the 2011 Hottest 100, and it hit number 78 in Triple J's decade vote for the 2010s. It peaked at number 32 in the ARIA charts and number 1 on the Australian Independent charts. Awkward has more recently been used for a string of advertising campaigns. Number 15, Television Addict by The Victims. One of the legendary Australian punk songs, Television Addict by The Victims, propelled Dave Faulkner into the spotlight and put Perth punk on the map. Lead singer Dave would later relocate to Sydney and start the ultra successful outfit Hoodoo Gurus. Faulkner still has a soft spot for the song, re recording it in 2005 for a bonus track on the Gurus album Crank. They also play it live in Hoodoo Gurus sets occasionally for a nice throwback. Number 14 Don't Fight It by The Panic. After a string of releases that made splashes in the local scene, WA band The Panics finally hit big with their 2007 single Don't Fight It. The song is simple and eloquent and resonated with the Australian public, hitting number 10 in the Triple J Hottest 100 and it also reached number 43 on the ARIA chart. The album of which the song appears on, Cruel Guards, was also given Australian Album of the Year by Triple J in 2007. The song also got The Panics an ARIA nomination for breakthrough release. Number 13. Jimmy Ricard by Draft. WA rapper Paul Ridge, better known as Draft, released this as his first single from the third studio album, Brothers Grimm. The song was voted in at number 10 on Triple J's Hottest 100 in 2008, and it also reached number 98 on the ARIA charts. Jimmy Ricard's success cemented Draft's position as Oz Hip Hop royalty in the 21st century. He also had success with songs Rapunzel and Sing It, but Draft fans will always usually agree that Jimmy Ricard is his quintessential track. Number 12, Frantic Romantic by The Scientists. Fronted by legendary WA musician Kim Salmon, The Scientist would gain some warm success locally and nationally. Initially released as a 7-inch with another song in 1979, Frantic Romantic would be their most successful single. Many of the band's members would go on to different projects in the passing years, but The Scientist's legacy lived on. The 90s Seattle grunge movement's biggest bands such as Nirvana and Mudhoney both stated this WA band as an influence on their work. The Scientist even reformed and toured with Mudhoney in the 90s. Number 11, I'm Just a Suburban Boy by Dave Lane. One of the pioneers of singing in a thick Australian accent in contemporary music, Dave Warner released this Australiana classic in 1978. The song revolves around Dave's observances in his suburban upbringing in Perth. The song would peak at number 31 in the charts and cement Warner into WA music folklore for many years to come. After his success, he would migrate to Melbourne to further his musical endeavours, but he will always be a suburban boy from Perth at heart. Number 10, Cry and Shame by Johnny Diesel and the Injectors. Now a solo project more famously known as Diesel, Mark Lazotte formed this band in Perth in the late 80s with much success. His solo project Diesel would go on to produce bigger releases, but that was when he had bunkered down over East. So I am counting his Injectors stuff as the pure WA music here. The Injectors self-titled debut album gained widespread Australian attention, winning two arias for best new talent and highest selling album. The single Cry and Shame is the most synonymous with the self-titled debut and continues to be played on Australian classic rock stations on a daily basis. Number 9, Zebra by John Butler Trio. Starting out as a busker in Fremantle, John Butler would later become one of WA's most unlikely recognisable sounding musicians. His roots rock style would gain attention on Triple J with the song Better Man in 2001, although in 2003 he shot to commercial success with the song Zebra. It's a song with a deadly catchy melody and infectious beat that most Aussies recognise immediately when hearing. It reached number 22 in the charts and set his band up for further success when they released Grand National in 2007. This album would include hits such as Funky Tonight, Better Than, 
and used to get high, which all could have been considered for this list. I couldn't look past Zebra though, as it is the song that propelled him to the stardom. Number 8, Plans by Birds of Tokyo. So this was a pretty tough choice between Plans and Lanterns, but both Birds of Tokyo songs are pretty well known and respected. I'm just going to have to go with my personal preference and say Plans though. Birds of Tokyo built up a strong steady following throughout Australia before the release of Plans. When the band dropped this single to promote their third album, it hit mainstream ears with frequent commercial airplay. The song reached number 11 on the ARIA charts and hit number 4 on the Hottest 100 of 2010. Lanterns from their next album would have a similar success. Number 7. Heaven by Hero Gliders. This song is the quintessential Perth synth pop track from the 80s. Heaven still gets heavy airplay on Australian classic rock stations and it's instantly recognisable to most Aussie music lovers and even casual listeners alike. It hit number two on the charts and was awarded the 1994 Countdown Music Awards Best Australian Single. The song also charted well in the States and launched Eurogliders to an international audience in the 80s. Number six, Leaving Home by Jebediah. Now for the quintessential 90s Perth alt-rock banger. Leaving Home oozes suburban WA life from its themes of growing up and moving out and also a very low budget hometown video. The song reached number 48 on the charts and number 10 in Triple J's Hottest 100 of 1997. One could also consider their song Harpoon for this list which featured on the same album as Leaving Home, slightly oddly. The whole album is great but in my opinion Leaving Home is their most recognisable track. Number 5, London Still by The Waves. This beautiful folk song propelled the waves into the national spotlight. The song revolves around lead singer Donna's feelings about being away from home and struck a chord with Aussie music fans. It hit number 3 in the Triple J Hottest 100 of 2003 and peaked at number 49 in the ARIA charts. London Still also gained the waves ARIA award nominations for Breakthrough Artist and Best Independent Release. Number 4, Black Fingernails Red Wine by Eskimo Joe. Red wine. After the success of their second album, Eskimo Joe wanted to take the step towards rock star status. Musing about things that rock stars do, lead singer Cav came up with the idea of Black Fingernails Red Wine and went from there. The finished product was a huge Oz Rock success in the mid 2000s. The song hit number 6 on the ARIA charts and spent 19 weeks in the top 20. It also came in at number 2 in Triple J's Hottest 100 of 2006. Their 2004 track From the Sea could also be considered for this list. Both songs still received some national airplay, but Black Fingernails Red Wine took them to Aussie stardom. This song also gave them an ARIA award for single of the year. Number 3, The Less I Know The Better by Tame Impala. Okay, so we know Tame Impala have had quite a lot of big songs lately, but I think this song is the one that is leading the pack. Let It Happen, Elephant, and It Feels Like We Only Go Backwards could all be considered, but recent accolades prove The Less I Know The Better to be Tame's biggest hit. Originally in 2015, the song hit number 66 on the ARIA charts, and it hit number 35 on the US rock charts. In the 2015 Triple J Hottest 100, the song reached number 4 in the count. Then, in the station's count for the decade's most popular song, it was voted number 1. The song the song also re-entered the charts at number 17 due to the TikTok viralism in 2020. Number 2, At First Sight by The Stamps. Incredibly simple yet catchy, this song captured the hearts of many Perth people and Oz music fans in the 80s. The song was included on the soundtrack for popular Australian movie Young Einstein and received mainstream airplay for a few years. This song's presence hasn't persisted commercially as other WA songs, but the local scene still has a strong appreciation for it. When I conducted the vote for the greatest WA songs at my local station, this song came in at number two, so I can't deny the love this song still gets from locals. Okay, so just before I reveal the number one, I wanna go over some honorable mentions that just didn't make the list. Know You Now by The Sum Loves, Drugs by Ammonia, Oh Yeah by End of Fashion, Tarantula by Pendulum, 
The Martyr by Carnival, Good Dances by The Sleepy Jackson, Baby I'm Getting Better by Gyroscope, Beautiful to Me by Little Birdie, and Spacey Jane's Booster Seat, which is taking off right now as I'm making this video, so I feel like I have to put it in just to cover myself up. And now technically the drones did fit into my category of a WA band because they recorded one EP just before they moved over east and they did some live shows here. So I'm going to include Sharkfin Blues as an honourable mention. And one last honourable mention I want to give goes to I Like It Both Ways by Supernaut. Now technically they didn't record in Perth for their first release but I feel like it was a lot different back then when you wanted to make really professional pop sounding music you kind of had to go over east so I'm going to give them an asterisk and put them in on an honourable mention. Number one, Wide Open Road by The Triggers. When we consider the greats of WA music, the Triffids are the ultimate trailblazers of the Western state. They were pretty much the first WA band to be recognised globally, and their track Wide Open Road from their Born Sandy devotional album was the breakthrough hit. The song reached number 4 on the Oz charts and number 26 in the UK charts. In 2001, it was recognised as one of the 30 greatest Australian songs by APRA. In Triple M's 2018 Ozist 100, it came in at number 64. The Triffids were also inducted into the ARIA Hall of Fame in 2008, and their legacy continues to this day. Thanks for watching this video everyone. If you were interested in the results of the poll that I conducted in 2018, I'll quickly flash it up on the screen now so you can pause it and have a look. I'm sure many of you will have varied opinions about the list that I put up here, so please feel free to comment and let's keep the discussion about West Australian music going. Have a look in the video description and you'll find a link to a Spotify playlist with songs from the bands in this list. If you like this video and you want to see more content about Australian and West Australian music, please subscribe to this channel and I'll put some more videos up for you.